Well, good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Real quick, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, today we have to fix my first paint problem on the Tacoma back here. I did this myself. It was a stupid, stupid move, but I did it. Um, I'm going to show you what I did, and then we're going to attempt to fix the little uh, scrape, I guess, gouge, whatever you want to call it, that I created on the back bumper of my Tacoma. Real quick, I have a Barcelona Red. If anybody's looking for Barcelona Red, I actually found this on uh, Amazon. And this is the part number you guys can see right there. I think that shows up okay. There you go. This is for Barcelona Red. It's just one of those little paint pen brush kind of things, which I'm always quite horrible at doing. So it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. Um, I think it's probably a pretty good fix to have to do because it should be relatively simple, which is about my speed when it comes to painting. But let me uh, point the camera down here. I'm going to show you how I managed to do this. Um, I kicked myself for doing it. I should have known better. It was just because I was in a hurry. So let me set you down here and I'll do a little almost reenactment. I'm not going to scrape it again, but I'm going to show you how it happened. All right, you guys can see right there is the gouge. Pretty easy to see. Let me back you off a little bit. I'll show you how I did it. Let me take you in a little more. Right there is the gouge. And of course, I was moving my plate that I use, obviously, to uh, drive up and down on the ramp, or the lift, I should say. Let me get you focused back in right there. There you go. And on the edge of the ramp here, there is this pointed edge right here. The gouge is uh, right here, right there. And I took the corner of this ramp and just scraped it right across the back of the bumper as I was removing it and put that nice lovely little gouge in the paint that I have there. So now we're going to uh, clean up the bumper a little bit and see if we can't touch that up. All right, we've got it uh, all cleaned off right now as you guys saw. And I've got the paint. I haven't decided which is the best way to go. A brush, uh, which I'm even worse at. Uh, let me, the little pen thing that's on the end right here. Um, let me point you guys around. We'll see. I don't know if that little pen thing is, we have gnats out here today. If the uh, pen thing is thick enough to be able to fill that, probably not. If you look at the pen part of this, um, Again, I'm guessing it's probably not quite thick enough. Maybe it is. I don't know. Certainly would be able to control it a little more. The, the scratch itself is uh, a little deep. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, we're not, uh, we're not having much luck there. So, I'm going to go to my least favorite method, and that is going to be the brush. Here we go. Now, you don't want to put too much, obviously, because this is on an angle, so it will, of course, run if you do too much. So, according to the directions, uh, we're supposed to let that sit for 30 minutes. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. Time for coat number two. Break you guys in a little bit. It's actually right here. Not sure how well the camera's focusing on that. It probably makes it look better than it is uh, because of blur. 
But uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put the next round on there. All right, here we go. Okay, there is round number two. We'll wait another 30 minutes. This is uh, going to turn into quite a lengthy process for me anyway. It won't be for you guys, uh, but it will be for me as far as waiting in between these coats. Um, as you can see, it's, it's not going to be a, uh, a professional job, obviously. If I wanted that, I'd take it to a shop. I'm not going to take that to a shop. But uh, it will at least protect the plastic, cover it up a little bit. It isn't metal, so it's not like it's going to rust. But uh, I just don't want that little black bit staring out at me. And fortunately, it's kind of at the point on the bumper cap there that, uh, you know, it's not going to stand out a whole heck of a lot. You're not going to see it unless you're looking for it. Um, I do expect it to be kind of a what do you want to say, a bubbled finish when I'm done. In other words, it will be higher than the uh, surrounding area. But we're going to let it dry again. And, you know, what I'm doing here, too, is I'm kind of filling the gouge uh, with paint as I go, of course, because there is a gouge. So we're going to let it dry for another 30 minutes. We're going to do probably just one more, uh, one more probably fairly thick coat on it. We'll see. And, uh, and then we'll show you the finished product okay let's see if we can zoom you in just a little bit see if you guys can actually see this at the moment and I know it's it's tough to see it's actually right here um, there that's a pretty good shot of it I think but that's what we're looking at right now we're gonna go ahead and do our third coat this is our third attempt at greatness I say that kiddingly of course There. I think we're going to leave it at that. It is bubbled over, like I said, you know, if I was an expert painter. Uh, I suppose uh, in that case, I would, uh, I would sand it down and do all that good stuff. But um, again, painting is not really my gig, but uh, I got to say, from a distance, unless you look at it, and I'll show you guys here in just a minute. Matter of fact, let's just do that right now. Uh, I'm not sure that you would actually notice it. This is backing off a little bit, um, and then we'll walk up to it. And it is shiny right now because I just did it, but uh, can you see it? Can you see where it is? I bet you could if I point it out. It's actually right here, and it's just above my, right above my fingernail, right there. So. I don't know. I think it came out pretty well. It came out as well as I think the uh, the novice painter who's not a professional at doing this can do, uh, which certainly covers me, that's for sure. Uh, I'm happy with it for what it is. Uh, again, if it really bothered me, I'd take it somewhere and have somebody do it professionally, you know. But honestly, it's, it's not worth the money. Uh, I'll probably have bigger scratches and things on here before all is said and done. Anyway, a rock chip on the road would probably leave something worse than that. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, show you guys my little project today, let you know the stupid, stupid thing that I did. Again, right over here, uh, if you guys can see, right down there, that's the culprit. That was the weapon of destruction. That's what caused this. And, uh, of course, it was all my fault. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know, how did I do? Be gentle, please. I'm not a professional painter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.